Hello, hello, how are you all today? My name is Simranjit Kormaan and I am a trainee solicitor for a UK top 20 law firm. And I make content for aspiring solicitors. I talk a little bit about law, about careers, personal development, all of that fun stuff. And today, what we're going to be doing is talking about what I wish I knew before going to law school. So I knew all my life that I wanted to study law at university. However, my actual university experience was very different to how I imagined. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing that if I went back to first year in the University of Bristol, which is where I studied my undergrad in 2015, such a long way away now, almost six years. That is disgusting. I feel so old. But if I went back in time to my first year self, what are some things that I wish I knew? And obviously this video is for those of you who are just about to start your university experience, if you are, good luck and congratulations. Or for those of you who are going perhaps into your second year or your third year and you're just looking for some tips. Now before I start this video, I really want to promote the Lawyer Spot and their fantastic notebooks. So these notebooks, I'm not sure whether you can see close to the camera, hopefully that, that shows. Um, but they are individual notebooks that are organised and you can write obviously your notes in them and they are organised in the core modules that you find in law school. So administrative and constitutional law, tort law, equity and trusts, land law, contract law and criminal law. So let's open up one of these notebooks and I can show you what it looks like inside. Oh, let me drop them all in my lap. So this is what they look like. The covers are really, they're good quality. You just know it's good quality when you feel it. And if you look inside, the pages are plain and they are thick. They are thick sheets of paper, which is the best thing because my biggest pet peeve when it comes to notebooks and writing is when you're writing on one page and you flip over to the next page and the ink has pretty much spilled through. And it just makes my notes look really messy and horrible, which is not what I want. This is exactly what I wish I had when I was in law school. So these notebooks are made entirely in the UK, in Britain. And I think the manufacturer has been in this business for over a hundred years. All of the Lawyer Spot's products also hold an FSC certification. Essentially, Lawyer Spot was founded because they felt like law students, as we are, are sophisticated individuals and their stationery should not be generic. It should also be the same level of sophistication. Of course, there's an exclusive discount available to you all if you use SIM15 at the checkout. Check out their collection via the link below. Right, now let's jump into the video itself. So the first thing I wish I knew when I was going to law school was the importance of networking, going to events, applying to first year schemes, open days, etc. I remember in my first year I was invited to attend an open day at Simmons and Simmons and I didn't go to it because I felt like it wasn't important which is obviously a big mistake. Well, I wouldn't call it a big mistake, but it was obviously a rookie error because I could have then used that experience in my applications. I could have talked about it a bit more. I could have made, it could have made my application to Simmons and Simmons a lot stronger. So those are the little things that I wish I, I wish I knew. And also not going to network events purely just for the food, but also actually having questions pre-ready, pre like ready to ask. So I wish I did my research before going to networking events. I also wish I took studying a bit more seriously. So of course you always hear that first year doesn't count at law school, which in some respects it's true, it doesn't. It doesn't count towards your final grade, obviously depending on the university. But I wish I, I didn't take that too much on board because when it came to applying for vacation schemes in my second year, I only had my first year grades to rely on and I wish I had worked a bit harder in my first year to get those good grades. So in first year I had a 2-2 which made it difficult for me to apply to vacation schemes and sometimes I do think maybe I would have got a training contract sooner if I had a 2-1 in my first year and my second year. So that's one thing that I wish I did as well. On the topic of studying actually, one thing I also wish I knew 
was that the revision techniques that I used during my A-levels aren't necessarily going to exactly work when I was studying my law degree. So during my A-levels, I was a big fan of mind maps. I thought they were amazing. But when I studied it at law school and I tried to incorporate the mind maps method, personally for me, that didn't work. Whereas obviously for some other people it may work, but for me it didn't. And I wish I knew about other revision techniques like blurting or flashcards or the whiteboard method. All of those different methods you can find for example, the whiteboard method is one that I actually came across when I was studying the LPC and it's where you write everything that you know about the topic on a whiteboard uh, in one colour and you do this without looking at your notes and then once you've written everything that you can remember on the whiteboard, you then look back at your notes and fill in another colour the things that you missed and then what you do is then look at the whiteboard as a whole, revise all of that, wipe it all down, then do it again. So I wish I was, I wish I knew about that method I also wish I had Unjaded Jade's book. I think she did a book about ways to study and um, what she wish she knew when she was going to be back to university. I'll link her book in the description below. I've not read it myself personally, but I've heard really good things about it. And I think she's a great study YouTuber. So I'm sure she has some great tips for you. I also wish I was more social with my law cohort when I was at university. I really kind of avoided law students. I had a few law friends, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of them I, I mainly avoided. I didn't really go to the socials as much within my law society because I was really intimidated by my law cohort. I felt like they knew everything, they were so on the ball and I was just really pretty much winging it throughout. However, if I did build those solid foundations and I got over that intimidation, I may still have a solid network now for me to have relied on as a trainee solicitor. And instead I had to build that framework and build that network during the LPC itself. I also think having a strong friendships in your law cohort can also mean that you can learn from each other in terms of studying. Really, I guess, say if someone in your group got a first class and you're friends with them, you can really learn from them. So I wish that's something that I did more as well. I guess this links on to my next point is to not let intimidation or the fact that you feel like other people in your cohort are doing amazing to put you off from you doing your best as well. I really let that intimidation looking back in hindsight, I really let that get to me and affect my opportunities. Essentially, it meant that when I graduated, that's when I had to start building my network. That's when I had to start doing all of these things when instead I could have perhaps started doing that from first year. Also, I'd like to reiterate another thing that I wish I knew is everyone is pretty much winging it. Trust me, even your law society president at your university, they are somewhat winging it. And I wish I knew that because I always felt like everyone knew what they were doing at university and I was the only one who just had no clue and was always clueless in seminars and workshops. Another thing I wish I knew when I was at university is the importance of attending seminars and workshops. Lectures for me, not so much because I, uh, for my university lectures were recorded and I felt like I actually learned better when I was in the comfort of my own room and I could pause the lecture, rewrite my notes as required and then restart uh, the lecture and listen to it. So I don't personally regret missing any lectures, but I think if you are at a university where your lectures are recorded, do try and figure out, for example, whether you prefer going in person or whether you like them being recorded and you listening in your own time. I guess one of the disadvantages of listening to your lectures in your own time when they're recorded is that you can easily fall behind. So what I tended to do was sometimes I did go in and listen to my lectures just to try and stay on track. And yeah, that's one thing I'd say as well. Don't try and slack and fall behind because the workload does get quite a bit. And lastly, I'd like to say, I guess this is more relating to law firm applications. So if you are looking to become a commercial uh, law solicitor, um, if you want to gain a training contract is do not copy and paste applications and don't copy and paste uh, things that you've written before to another firm because trust me, that does not work. And if you've been watching my content for a while, that's something that I, I hone in on a lot. So do feel free to watch out for any of my other videos about writing applications that I've done in the past. I can link a few above and they really talk about why it's bad to copy and paste in applications for training contracts or vacation schemes. So essentially that's everything that I wish I knew before going to law school. I wish sometimes I could go back and just do the experience again with all this knowledge that I know, but I guess that's life and that's the that's the beauty of growing up and being able to look back at things and realize what went well and what didn't go well. So hopefully you found this video really helpful. If you have, 
please do let me know if you want any more content about studying law at university. I wouldn't really call myself the best law student if I'm honest with you, but hopefully this video helped in um, me learning from my lessons and hopefully is somewhat helpful to you as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video.